Hi guys, welcome back. So this week, I have a fun video for you because we're gonna test out a heatless curl method with the Curl Former dupes from eBay. <laughs> the regular Curl Formers cost about $70 to $80. Obviously, I'm not gonna buy a bunch of plastics for $70, $80. That's just too much, that's just too much, okay? So I went on eBay and I bought these for $14, I believe. And if you're new, I'm Tina, so let's get started. All right, so this is what the pack looks like. So let me open this up. It has the curl former. This looks pretty, pretty tight. I think this is about 20 some inches long and this is supposed to be extra wide version but it doesn't really look all that wide to me at a glance. I'm afraid that my hair is going to be too tight now. Okay, so this is the tool you use to pull the hair through the curl formers with. So this whole pack is supposed to be extra long and extra wide because it's supposed to give you softer and looser wave but it certainly doesn't look like it's going to be all that loose. You're supposed to pull this. No, that's not it. That's all wrong. You're supposed to open this up and then put the stick inside of it. Like that. And then you're gonna hook your hair through this hook and then pull it down to get these curls. See, it looks like it's gonna work perfectly. So first, obviously you have to do this on damp hair. And I took a shower before filming this, so my hair is slightly damp. So this is the stuff I always put in my hair. For some reason, this for me seems to kill the shine, but it makes your hair so incredibly soft and silky looking. If you have hair problems because it's very dry and brittle and just icky feeling, you put a drop of this on your ends, when your hair is damp and when your hair dries, you end up with really beautiful, silky, soft, very butter soft hair. This stuff is very weird, but it's not going to make your hair shiny. So you do need to follow up with your favorite hair glossing serum. For me, I use this one from Langston because both of these are non-greasy dry oil formulas. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is kind of dampen it since my hair tends to dry fast. And then I'm gonna hook this through. Shoot, I did this wrong. So you're supposed to put the hook through the opening of this thing first. And hook it through. Okay, okay. And then I'm supposed to pull this. Oh, no, no. I can do this. And I'm going to pull it down. Okay, so you're supposed to go. Ow, fudge. Oh, shoot. Okay, no, I think. Pull it down. Okay. Oh, fudge. So I'm gonna take smaller sections, which means I don't have enough rulers. Okay, so obviously I'm not doing this right because I'm literally ripping out my hair here so I'm gonna watch a few more videos. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. Alright, so I have to take really small sections from now on. Wait, she said make sure curl from her hook is facing upwards. So you put the hook and make sure it's facing upwards and then you're supposed to... Uh, nope. We did it. That only took us 20 minutes. <laughs> we did it. We'll do it again. And I'm gonna use a pink one this time for this next ordeal. <laughs> Make sure the hook is facing upwards and I'm going to pull it. Oh, fudge. <laughs> ah, I want you guys to see how small these sections are. Flexi rod is a lot easier and simpler than this. You see? 
if you're taking tiny sections, your hair doesn't seem to get pulled as much. But as I said, it's gonna take a long time to put in and I definitely won't have enough rollers here to do my head. So I might just do a section of my head. Okay, so I ran out of the rollers, unfortunately. I can already tell you I won't be doing this again because I think it's very damaging to your hair if you're doing it on damp hair because when your hair is damp, it's very fragile. You can literally rip your hair apart because it's just, it's like rubber and you're yanking it through, you're stretching your hair every time. So it's as damaging as curling iron. So what is the point? I don't recommend it. I'm sorry, guys, but we'll see what happens, okay? Good morning. So it's been about 18 plus hours since I put these in and um, I gotta tell you guys, it's it was rough. So I did end up removing one of the rollers while I was sleeping because I was just really frustrated. I'm gonna pin this up so you guys could see these curls better. So here's the curl I took out while I was sleeping. Obviously these curls will last if you guys decide to try these out. All right, so let me just remove the rest. That is so curly. Because some people are really into this look and do look beautiful wearing these curls. I'm gonna get close so you guys can see this. Okay, and we're done. Let me know down below if you guys like this kind of videos and if you have any other suggestions. Be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next Saturday. Bye guys.